Okay, and last but not least, uh, we have our final profile operation. But this time, we're only going to be machining the outside profile of the wall, no depth in particular. Okay, so to do this again, let's copy our last profile. We'll click Edit. And then click on Save and Copy. I mean, usually, while you're making these, you can just click on Save and Copy, and it jumps to the next one. Okay, so you don't need to exit and then re go through all of that. Let's go to new. And for this one, let's come down here and click on auto 2, just like we've learned in exercise number one, and auto constant Z. I'm going to select the beginning of this surface and double click on the, on the end of that. And it will create my entire chain. Click on yes. And let's click on OK. Now, I want to come down here under levels. I want to keep my tool the same. And I need to select a new profile depth. And remember, the last one ended over here. Obviously, I want this one to end at the bottom of my part. Okay? That's going to be negative 0.85. And click on OK. Now, I want to state one thing. When we first set up our part, remember, I added a quarter of an inch to the bottom of this part of stock. So there's extra material of quarter of an inch long. Now, normally, I want my tool to go past my part when I'm machining. So I needed to go down past it at least a quarter of an inch, but I already have quarter of an inch of material. So remember, if you actually type in negative 0.25, it's actually going to go down flush with the part or with my block instead of making sure that all the burrs and everything are the chips are clearing the part. So I actually need to add a little bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and add about a hundred thou more to make sure that my tool clears my entire block. Okay. You can go over here to technologies. Now we don't have a floor, so you can actually delete that. Okay. And let's go over here, save and calculate. That's it. It says check the field for correct input. And the only reason it's saying that is because I don't, I don't left nothing on the floor and I just need to make sure that there's a field in there. So if you get an error like that, don't freak out. You just missed placing uh, a number somewhere. Okay, a field. You can't leave any of these fields empty. Now, one big thing to make sure of before you start, especially when you copy an operation to another operation, uh, is the tool side. Click on Geometry, and I'm glad I did because I've noticed that my tool is on the inside of the part. So if I start machining, it will machine the inner part of the uh, block. Now, of course, I want to switch that to the left side. That's all it is. You switch it over here, and then you click on OK. That should be it. Save and calculate, and simulate. And let's simulate the machining. There you go. And this concludes our session and the exercise number uh, two and machining only the first part of it. So now for our next uh, exercise, we're going to be learning how to flip this part and machine the other side of it.